Hey, folks, Eric here, the Whatever Guy, because it really is whatever me. Do you folks want to know about a bill being pushed forward to put a cap on THC limits of uh, recreational marijuana before it even gets on a ballot in Florida? You guys stick around, man, and we'll talk about that. As you guys know, my name is Eric. I am the Whatever Guy. You see videos a couple days a week, basically keeping you guys updated in the world of, Del of Delta 8, Delta 9, Delta 10, hemp, cannabis, just what's going on around. And today, man, sitting here, we'll sit around on early Tuesday morning talking about this, uh, this bill that they're pushing forward uh, to basically place caps on uh, THC limits, uh, THC limits limits and caps on recreational marijuana if it gets on the ballot like this is a crazy situation here we have talked about this representative matt suolo a few times before he's actually the one that is also pushing uh the uh the hemp bill forward that wants to place a cap on uh hemp products in the state he also uh is the one that also originally pushed this bill forward uh originally it was two milligrams per per serving and 10 milligrams per pack we have now an expansion uh they have expanded those limits which i told you uh in the past i thought that was kind of what was going to happen i didn't think that the bill would be able to pass or get anywhere close to passing in the in the current form that it was in with that whole 10 milligram per pack thing. Now we've moved forward into a position where he's pushed forward with a bill of 30 percent uh, TEC on the flower, I believe, and 60 percent on the concentrates, which part of me says, you know, that, that I would be OK and cool with with those type of, of caps and limits. But but in the end, I'm, I'm a person that doesn't really want government involved in it at all. Now, having said that, I'm, you know, obviously the flower that I, you know, the TEC flower, I, you know, I sell and I smoke on a daily basis runs about 25 to 30 percent TCA on a dry weight basis or you know uh, excuse me TCA uh TCA content and then obviously that that TCA converts over to TEC uh, when you apply flame to it so I'm about you know I'm about a 20 to 30 percent uh, uh flower type of dude also that's that's the type of concentration I would like in my flower but having said that at the same time I don't want big government coming in there and putting caps on anything like I don't want their I don't want big government's hands in anything and it just it kills me that this guy this this representative thinks he knows better for the people uh, then the people know better than for themselves. Like he is literally trying to pass laws before we even get to a point where we're like, he's, he's projecting uh, that, that, that we want marijuana and then that the, 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 uh, the amount of people want marijuana, he's projecting that it's going to be on the ballot, but he wants to protect you before it does get to the ballot. Like it's, it's, it's crazy situations. We're going to flip over here to an article over here. I believe this is over at Ganjapreneur and this kind of lays it out quite a bit. And we'll take a look at it. It says a uh, new Florida bill would cap adult use flour at 30% TEC and concentrate at 60%. Florida lawmakers have moved forward a bill to cap potency on adult use cannabis products ahead of potential legalization, setting TEC limits for various forms and stipulating the measure would activate once legalization has been enacted. Florida lawmakers in the State House Healthcare Regulation Subcommittee last week advanced a proposal that would put a potency cap on adult use cannabis products before the state has even enacted a legalization policy, the Tampa, the Tampa Bay Times reports. The bill, HB 1269, seeks a 30% TEC potency cap for non-medical cannabis flower products and a 60% cannabis potency cap for extracts and concentrates. Edibles, meanwhile, would be capped at a max of 10 milligrams of TEC per serving and 200 milligrams per package. The proposal would only take effect 30 days after the passage of the amendment, of the amendment legalizing adult use cannabis. Notably, the Florida, Supreme, the Florida Supreme Court is currently considering whether to allow such an amendment to appear before voters this year after the Attorney General asked the court to reject the initiative brought by advocates who had collected nearly a million vote, voter signatures supporting the reform. And let me just say this. They've already had oral arguments uh, in, in the House, or excuse me, in the judges' chambers. And basically, uh, the judge has already pointed out that, or several of the judges have already pointed out uh, that the wording is correct now for them to place it on the ballot. The last time in 2022, uh, when they actually tried to push this through, Ashley Moody was able to get uh, that initiative taken off the ballot because the wording, in her opinion, was confusing. Uh, the, the judges have already stated that the wording is correct for this. We we feel like in April uh, we're going to get uh, 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 the judges vote on our side and then we're going to have legalization on the ballot by October of 2024. Governor Ron DeSantis, who does not support the legalization of cannabis, said recently that he believes the court will allow voters the, the chance to consider the, uh, this issue in November. Uh, excuse me, it's November that it will be placed on the ballot, uh, not October. I apologize for that. One of the bill's co-sponsors, Representative Ralph Masulo, represented a Republican in Lacanto, said that the bill, despite being designed to preempt a voter-backed legalization decision, doesn't infringe on voters' rights. This gives them an opportunity to understand that if recreational marijuana passes in our state, whether the likelihood of that is high or low, that they know that they will know that the legislator will step in to protect the public. 
Masulo via the Tampa Bay Times. <laughs> With the 13 to 4 vote, the bill passed uh, passed its first committee hurdle while on its way to potentially the, to the House floor. The proposal does not have a companion bill in the Senate, the report said. Okay, guys, so this is actually, you know, in a position where they're just uh, adjusting. I think the first time it went through, uh, the Florida Ag Subcommittee was able to pass it, and it actually went through with that whole uh, two, per, you know, two milligrams and 10 milligrams per pack. Now we've moved into a position where we've got an expanded bill, but I just want to, I want to caution everyone. I, I want to caution everyone to, to be really careful here. We don't want to get into a position where we're okay with whatever they're offering like they're they're offering us this is a, is, a, is like you know i'm looking at this from the outside in thinking that 30 percent on the flour is cool you know and i can go with the whole 10 percent, you know 10 milligrams per serving uh 200 milligrams per pack because most people you know even in my state are, are 10 20 milligram type of dudes uh but having said that all the way around i i, I'm, I don't want big government sticking their hands in this like a, like why should they decide what type of caps, you know, that I go on my, on my TEC. Like if I, if I voted to legalize recreational marijuana, that should come with everything that is involved in it. I should be able to get the type of recreational marijuana that I want without someone in the state telling me that, that I've got to buy two or three packs to get where I want to go. And let me just state this all the way around. Like at, at some point you have to realize that these folks are going to be smoking more of the product, which but basically places them in more harm because there's other chemicals and stuff that could be involved in this whole situation. And not only that, if they're not going to get what they want from the, from the, um, from, from a recreational dispensary, they're just going to go see their homeboy and get it. We're going to go to the illegal market and we're going to get the type of products we want and just cut the government out all the way around. And that's basically what the situation is right now in Florida is like, you guys need to get your hands out of the pot and leave us alone. If we're going to vote for recreational marijuana, we should get everything that that entails and involved in that. And we should be the ones to, to decide what type of caps and stuff we want on our products. All right, folks, is whatever got signing off, and I'll talk to you guys later, man. Love you. See you.